I 3D printed this box with the sliding door that there is a rail you can slide the door. There is many ways how to design sliding door in different methods. In this video I will show you how to design and 3D print sliding doors. I know there is a lot of different ways how to do that but this I think it's the easiest. Before that we will go to Fusion to explain for you that you can understand it easier. I designed this box from three different bodies. There is a spacer and there is a top. Inside that there is a rail where sliding door it will fit. Now you can see it more clear. We just need to design the sliding door. So we can start with a thin layer. You can see it, it's easy to open and easy to close. We go to Fusion to design that. I will show you better. You just need to create sketch and you try to connect this different separate bodies with the thin layer. So we just create a rectangle. Then we will extrude that to 0 0.4, what it is, two layers. We make a join. So now that all these separate bodies, it's connected by thin layer. You can see it here. After that, we just need to send it to the printer. Now you can see that we have our bodies, it's printed. This sliding door, you can see there is a thin layer, but it's connecting all these separate bodies and it's bending. For preference, maybe you can use PTG filament. It's much more flexible than PLA. But in any way, we have smooth corner here, so it's not that bad. So we just need to put the sliding door inside. Just need to add it inside. Here, I'm not going to use glue, I will use it later. But just I want to show you different methods. Then we just put the top. And we just slide, you can see. It's easy to open and easy to close. So you can see this mechanic. After that, we go design other method that we can connect this different separate bodies with the mosquito nets. So I will show you better way. So we just need to send the file only these bodies. Then we connect it with mosquito nets. You just need to go for this window mosquito net. We will cut some piece, same size as your bed, like 3D printed bed. You just need to cut small piece. And we put this file on the printer. Then we just pause the printer. Then we put this kind of fiber on mosquito net. And we put a magnet on it so that it can stick. Try to put it better than me. Like you just need to connect these corners. So after that, we just continue printing on that fiber. So until it's ready. After that, when we have it ready, we just remove these edges. So you can. I used scissor here, so we just need to cut these edges on the corners. We continue doing that carefully. It's much flexible, this. So this you can even use PLA. It doesn't matter what kind of filament you will use. So after cutting that, it stayed like a little kind of hair on the edge. I used lighter, but of course this lighter, it's not good when you have lighter color filament. It get darker. It's maybe it's better to use it when it's black filament. But this is, I think it's lazy job, but still you can do it better than me. Like you can just using cutter to cut that. Me anyway, like it go on the edge so no one going to see it. After that, we just to install this body inside. 
it got it save then we just need to connect top so you can see it it's easy to open and easy to close this is its good method but just the bad side of it that you should to be there when you pause the print also you should to remove the edge and that's add more work but still it's a good method after that we are going to use living hinge for the next method living hinge it's more common with woodworking and laser cutting that you create holes or empty space inside the wood that it make it more easier to bend you can see this chair where it's creating living hinge now it's more easy to bend there is many ways how to do this living hinge you can see here how many method we are going to use same method but just in 3d printing we are going to use slot we just create bodies then we use a rectangle of bottom and we will add how many different but how many bodies we need then we just combine and connect all bodies in one body then we just create handle that we need to select and extrude that so we try to extrude that and connect it to the body then we just need to print you can see that there is holes there so it's much easier to be flexible like you can bend it much easier after that we just need to send it to the printer now all bodies are ready you can see it it's much flexible you can bend it we just need to install the body inside that and then we put the top so we try to close it again i'm using it without glue i will use it later but you can see easy to open and easy to close here we use it slot but you can use different method depends like how you want just i'm trying to show you and you try to find what's the best for you of course every method have a good side and bad side but still all they do same job now we get to the end of the video i hope this video helped you to design better thank you for watching and see you for the next video